Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am here with Kimi and we're going to minister to 10 people. If you would also like to receive ministry in this format, we would love to minister to you. If you are part of a ministry team or a church leadership team, you can always send me a message with all 10 or 20 people in your church leadership and I will also make a special video where we minister to your church or to your church leadership. But just make sure before you give it to me that you have spoken to the various people and make sure that they say, yes, I would like to receive ministry. We certainly don't want to minister to someone that says, I don't want to minister to you. If someone says, yes, I want ministry, we would love to minister to them. All right. So the first person I want to minister to today is Mauda. What the Lord is showing to me is a field of sunflowers and how the Lord has sown His, his Word and His seeds in your life and how that sunflowers has come up. Now you know when sunflowers has come up and has grown, then what happens, they leave the sunflowers on the field for a while so it can dry out. So that when they reap it, then they have those dried little sunflower seeds where they can get the oil from or they can do something with it. All right? And I felt that the Lord says, you, you went through a season of dryness and you felt, but Lord, wh why? You know, you, things were going so well and everything was growing and then I felt everything in my life is dying. But the Lord says, that's all part of the process because I want to extract that oil, the anointing out of your life. And you had to go through the season of growth, but also through the season where the sunflower seeds uh, and the plants dry out. Uh, but all of that was part of my big plan and the Lord says I'm going to use you in a mighty way my anointing is going to flow through your life I'm going to use you in an area of healing I'm going to use you to speak wisdom even in an area of finances I'm going to bless you and I'm going to use you God bless you and then this is what it's for Elisma. Elisma, the the Lord shows me like I can't, I can't remember what it's called, but those those things that grind spices. And the Lord shows me like this pepper kernel, this little pepper thingy. And then when you put it in, and then you grind it, and then it turns into dust. And I hear the Lord saying that it, when when you read the word of the Father, when you read His word. When you read the Bible and you take something and from the outside like oh it's just this this peppercorn and it's just supposed to make spices and this is this is what can I really do with this but the Lord says that he wants you to break down everything and really go into deep deep depth into the word and then truly truly know what it is and then you can like take it easier apply it easier into your life because it's hard to take this say like a peppercorn is like this big like a bible verse it's like well how am i supposed to apply this the lord says break it down and i hear the lord saying that simplify it take take it and and don't don't think oh i need to do every single one of these things take one thing at a time break off a little bit and apply that and, and the Lord just have grace on you, on you because He has so much grace and love for you. Be blessed. Hey, uh, Elisma, uh, the, the Lord has made you to be an a influencer. And I just see how there's a stream of water and you jump into it. And then there's another stream and you jump into that. And then another stream and you jump into that. But the Lord says, now I'm planting you by the stream, one of the streams. And you stay there and you influence and you bring life and you get on fire for what God is doing in that place and I feel that is what God is doing with you. He's just bringing that stability into your life. He's giving you a lot of joy and also the patience to, and the self-control to stay in that place and be used by the Lord. And I felt that the Lord says a lot of the ministry things that He's going to use you will take time. And so it means you have to position yourself in a place where I'm patient. God bless you, Elisma. The next word is for Cindy. Cindy, the Lord shows me a big fan. Um, I don't know what they call those things, but it's like a blower that they add when they, when they make a fire and you want the fire to be like white, white hot. They take that fan and they blow with that fan or that uh, blower and it, and it forces the oxygen onto uh, the fire and then uh, the, the fire gets very, very hot, so hot it can melt iron and it can melt very hard things. And the Lord shows me how you seek the Lord with everything in you and how the Lord fans the flame in your own life and even in the lives of those around you, your family and your friends. And as you allow that wind of the Lord to blow on your life and you also fan the flame on others' lives around you, the fire gets so hot that all the hard things and all the obstacles starts to melt and they get formed and shaped into the plan and the purpose that the Lord has. 
and then the Lord says, I'm, I'm making you like a useful uh, prophet uh, in my kingdom, uh, a, a weapon that's going to deliver the word of the Lord, that's going to give the wisdom of God, and it's going to produce. And just like I, I see a land that for maybe four years didn't produce anything, and then I see that land is producing every season abundance, big crops, because it's fertile la land and there's enough rain. And so the Lord says, I'm making you fertile, and you're going to produce a lot. God bless you. Amen, Cindy. Please leave us comment. This next word is for... Ashton. Ashton, the Lord shows me how there needs to be a turnaround. There needs to be a shift in your life. The Lord shows me that, that He is available to you, but there, you need to make a choice that you say, I'm going, to, I'm going to deny the flesh. I'm going to stop doing that and that and that. Or I'm going to give up this. I'm going to spend my time wisely, especially the enemy wants you to, to spend your time with with other things and things that are distracting you and then you end up like if you're um i don't think it's your phone but if you are like on your phone a lot then you are absorbing every single one of those like those things that you are watching or, or you are reading and it's taking up space and then when it's like the end of the day oh i need to i need to pray now you're just so so full of the world and in in in, in every aspect say like even if it's not your phone or even if it's socializing with people that, that are maybe not the not the best people but or I'm not too sure what it is but the Lord says keep space for him let him fill up space inside of you let him take up the space inside of you that you don't just leave a little bit there and a little bit there like no the Lord just wants to consume you and the Lord says that is your choice because he is available to you and he loves you so much Be yeah as then the Lord is releasing keys to you uh, and one of the keys is what Kimi is talking about is that slots of time that space that you leave to the Lord. I, I remember I uh, listened to, I think it was Rick uh, Warren actually, and he was talking about that it's about three times a week. He leaves a space about three, four hours where he actually schedule it, it's, it's already scheduled. But they can't fill it up with any other appointments. It's filled. And then what he does is he asked the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, what do you want me to do in those four hours? And then the Lord would sometimes say to him, I want you to read Bible, I want you to pray, I want you to intercede, I want you to go and visit with this person and pray with the, that person. And he would fill up that, that space as the Holy Spirit leads him. And he says it's important to leave space for God. And that's both then in your physical realm, in your soul, and also in your spirit. Yeah, remember we walk with God and He will supply to us uh, when we seek His kingdom first. He will give to us everything that we need. So if we, our lives is too busy. And sometimes we make it difficult for us to seek his kingdom first. All right, God bless you, Aston. So the next word is for uh, Bridget. Uh, uh, what the Lord is showing to me is a big celebration. And I saw at the celebration all your friends come and you guys were uh, cooking uh, all kinds of food. And it was really lovely. Uh, and what the Lord uh, was saying to me is that He wants you to have a celebration and He wants you to connect with all your friends and even the ones that you don't always talk to. Invite them, go with them, go and drink coffee with them or, or meet with them, uh, arrange a celebration, get everyone together. And then I saw how you as a family or as a, a group of friends uh, bless each other and take communion together. And all of you coming underneath that covering of God. And so the Lord says, just like a big tree can provide a big shadow uh, to people to sit underneath. So the Lord is a shadow uh, uh, in your life and He's covering you. But He is also calling you to be a covering for many of the friends and the family members in your life again. He's making you like this big tree that provides a wonderful covering and a, and a, and a shade. Uh, but in order to do that, you need to connect. And I just yeah, you heard the word celebration right from the beginning. Um, and I just see all of the fires, how you guys cook all kinds of things and how you celebrate. Um, and, and one of the, the things that we can celebrate is Jesus, uh, the blood of Jesus, Him dying for us on a cross, Him being alive and being our King today. And I, and I see that message coming very strongly out, out of you to your friends. God bless you. Please leave us a comment. Thanks so for this for Aiken. Aiken, the Lord shows me how He's just blessing you with like this vision of technology. The Lord shows me how He is really going to inspire you to to create something. 
and 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 the Lord shows me how this is like going to take time but he is really going to to help you when you um, to to create something something that'll that'll glorify him but I see also how this is going to help you financially and and just in yes financially but also it's going to bless others so I don't know what it is but I, I really see the Lord is going to 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 um, give you an idea with something involving technology be blessed. okay yeah I can uh, the Lord loves you very very much and I just see how the Lord shakes you and when you take a, a bottle uh, with um, like say soda pop uh, and you would sh shake it and you would open up the lid it would just bubble forth and I felt that the Lord is shaking you in this season and even the the prophecies that he given to you in the past he's reminding you of those and he's shaking them up so they can bubble forth at, at your life and become alive and just like Ezekiel in Ezekiel 37 where he said can these bones ever live and then the Lord said, prophesy over them. And so the Lord is prophesying over you today. It's how you will live. You will rise up and you will become a mighty army in my kingdom. God bless you, Aiken. Okay, so uh, Angela, uh, the Lord uh, is showing to me uh, how there is uh, a body of water. Just like with the Israelites when they were with Moses. Uh, but the water was contaminated and the people wanted to drink the water, but they could not drink the water. And then they cried out to God and they complained. Uh, and then what Moses did, he prayed to the Lord and the Lord uh, told him to take this this branch of this tree and to put it in that water. Uh, and he put it into the water and then the Lord cleansed the, the water. And then the Israelites could drink the water. And now the Lord is showing to me ministry, church, uh, congregation, a community that you are part with. And the Lord is calling you to be like Moses, to be an intercessor. You know, Moses was always the one that had to go to God and pray and say, this is the problem, please help. And then the Lord would use him to bring the miracles to the Israelites in many cases. And I felt that the Lord says, I'm going to use you in a mighty way to bring forth miracles. And that water that's contaminated, it's a picture of people coming to a church or to a community or even a family. And that water... Uh, the 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 message, the worship, uh, what's going on, the spiritual um, input that they receive out of that church is contaminated and people can't drink it. And I cry out, they say, but this is not working, I want to leave. And I just felt that the Lord says, you are part of the solution. And the Lord is raising you up as an intercessor and as a prophetic voice to heal that water so that people can have fresh living water and experience revival again. God bless you. Amen, Angela Parker. This next word is for another Angela. The Lord shows me. Um, the Lord shows me how you must really wear your light and and your love. And the Lord almost shows me like 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 how we see ourselves. We see ourselves in the flesh, but the Lord says that I want you to walk in the spirit and in that light and in that love and just in that holiness. And the Lord shows me how you shine so brightly when you are alone with the Lord. And, and you are really allowing that, 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 that holiness that is inside of you to, to be released. But the Lord says, I want you to, to walk around with that. And it's not, it is not walking around being all prideful or look at me, I'm, I'm shining. But it is that it is a beautiful um, shine knowing that you have been with the Lord, that you do not take his presence lightly, that, that you hold out your light and you, and you don't hide it, but you share it with others by by just telling them about about the Lord you are sharing his word and his love with others and the Lord shows me that even though sometimes you don't see that it does um, a lot for people behind closed doors it does so much when you share your love with people when you share the word of the Lord with people maybe they'll look at you look at you funny for um, a short while but then when they go home and they and they will they will truly know this wasn't just anybody this person knows the lord this person knows what they're talking about and the lord says don't be afraid to share be blessed okay uh, angela uh, god bless you uh, god loves you very very much um uh, i see a, a, a room uh, and the curtains is that see-through curtain uh, and the lord comes and he puts on uh, a thicker curtain um, and, and that blocks out that, that really hot sun uh, that bites on everything in the in room. And it just makes that room a little bit more private. 
And I just felt that the Lord says He's calling you into that inner room where you can spend time with Him and you can pray and where you can be in private. And the Lord says the things that you do in private, where no one sees, that intercession that you do, that declarations that you do, that acts of kindness. You know, the Bible says your left hand should not know what your right hand is doing. I just see how the Lord says, I'm going to reward you in public. I'm going to provide for you. You're going to receive supernatural breakthrough because you say to the Lord, Lord, I will seek you first. All right. God bless you, Angela. The next word is for Elizabeth. All right. So Elizabeth, uh, I was praying for you uh, and the Lord was showing to me how he is restoring strength and anointing and purpose in your life uh, and in your family's life, uh, in your husband's life uh, more than ever before. And the Lord started with me, he was showing to me Samson. And now Samson had uh, the function to be a leader, but also to destroy the works of the enemy that came through the Philistines. And because he allowed the flesh to come in, um, his hair was cut and he lost his strength. Uh, but over time, he repented again before the Lord and his strength came back, his hair grew again. And then he said to the Lord, give me a, a second chance. And the Lord gave him a second chance and he was able to destroy the Philistines more in that last moment of his life than his entire life together. And I felt that the Lord says, the best is yet to come. Your strength are being restored. The Lord says, everything that the enemy has stolen from you, the Lord will repay seven times in your life. And so you do not have to fear, but you can rejoice because the Lord is helping you. And I see how the Lord sometimes um, expose areas uh, in your life, in your family's life, uh, to the fire of God, so that that can be purified. And so when that happens, rejoice, uh, because it's, it's better, like Jesus said, uh, to go into the kingdom of, uh, of God with one eye or with one hand, uh, than to, um, to go into the fire. Okay, And so therefore, I just felt that the Lord says, His grace and His mercy is overflowing for your life. And you can trust in the Lord. And through every situation, you can you can rejoice. Uh, what does James say in James chapter 1, verse 2? He says, count it all joy yes. when you go through various trials. Sorry, I just get that right in my head. Uh, uh, and so I just felt, Elizabeth, that's what God is doing. Then the Lord showed me Abraham. And how Abraham um, was concerned because the Lord gave him promise he's going to have this big family and then um, uh, that whole thing happened we had a child with Hagar uh, and then they, they mistreated Hagar they sent her away without even taking care of her but it's actually his own child um, and, it, and it was really bad uh, but in spite of all of that uh, the Lord forgave Abraham uh, Abraham walked with God he trusted God, he walked in faith, he was a friend of the Lord, and the Lord ended up blessing Abraham tremendously, and he had a long life, the Lord gave him Isaac, and he gave uh, Isaac again children, and I just felt that the Lord says, the mistakes of your past is not going to hold you back from fulfilling uh, the future and the destiny that the Lord has for you. His grace to you is overflowing. God bless you, Elizabeth. Amen, Elizabeth. Please give us a comment. Thanks for this for Christopher. Christopher, the Lord... Uh, the Lord says, "Hold out, how, hold out your cup, and get and get refilled, get overflowed, and and um, the Lord um, begin to overflow. But you can't just be start to overflow from from nothing. We need to go and drink. And I hear the Lord saying that 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 your cup is a little lower than He would like. He wants you to to overflow." with his love and 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 that's how we can give love when we are overflowing with love we give love we give um a good attitude when we are overflowing with the love of the lord and knowing what he has done for us and 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 not taking like every day lightly but knowing today is a new day and i'm going to overflow i'm going to overflow the love of the lord onto others i'm going to overflow flow wisdom and that is eventually going to fall on you as well when you see a cup as it overflows it first goes on the cup and then it goes on to on to others and i hear the lord saying overflow get filled with my love again come and be with me that i can fill you up every single day be blessed all uh, right christopher uh, the lord shows me a tree with a dead branch and you really working that branch to get out of it what you can uh, it's for that branch to produ produce fruit and leaves uh, but that branch is an essence date 
and there's no more supply to it so maybe it looks alive but it, it's dying and then the Lord comes to you and he helps you to cut off that branch and then in that place where that branch is two new branches start to grow and both of those two branches are full of life uh, they are full of leaves and they're producing lots of fruits and so the Lord says that this is not a time to say I'm going to try to hold on to the old branch but it's also not a time to say I'm going to cut off that branch and then I don't know what, what's going to happen after that point the Lord says be ready the moment you cut off that branch then immediately the next two branches will start to grow and then in, in that season it will still start to bear fruit and so I, I felt that the Lord says this is a season of wisdom and action from, from you the action is cut off the old and connect with the new so trust god you will open up doors opportunities networks the the the, um, the right people in your life so that you will not only um produce finances and produce life and love uh, to the ones around you and in the kingdom of god but that you will also tap into the the purpose and the call that you have in your life and so you're gonna work and generate finances but you're also going to say i'm in my call i love what i'm doing i'm passionate what i'm doing i can't wait up to get up in the morning and do this because i get paid for fulfilling my call and that's what the lord is going to do for you he's going to do a miracle for you and and i know see christopher there's lots of people that are praying with you standing with you in faith for the lord to give you this breakthrough god bless you christopher Family, uh, it was a big pleasure for each uh, of me and Kimi to minister to you. Uh, we love and appreciate you. Uh, this is uh, for us quite a busy season because we all over the place. Uh, tonight we actually have a, um, it's like a reception where we're going to um, uh, just honor each one that has served at Living Word Church. Uh, so uh, in between all of that, we're running around and we also... I, I, I promised the Lord I will every day minister to 10 people uh, and ever since it was about a, a week or two after the, my accident that I had earlier this uh, in the beginning of September I've been faithful to say to the Lord every day we will minister and uh, I've been able to be uh, to, to be true to the Lord to do that uh, I also also thankful for my daughter Kimi um, she doesn't always have a she doesn't always feel she has a choice, uh, but she also has a passion in her to minister to the Lord. And, and I know this is good for her because the Lord will also grow her spiritually. Uh, you know, when you minister to people, then you grow actually a lot quicker than when you just receive from people. Because you don't have a, a way out to, to produce the fruit and then to, to give it to people. And so that's why when Jesus had his disciples, he would always be on the move, always ministering to others and use his disciples and so they ministered a lot and then in the evenings or uh, whenever they had a chance, he would teach them again. And so there was always input and output. And that's the quickest way uh, to have growth. And so that's why I thank you, Kimi, and I, and I thank each one that's involved. Uh, the, um, I also want to say thank you to each one in uh, that is part of the Unity with Heaven family that is encouraging me, that is supporting me financially. Uh, it helps me so very much. I, I was never able to be in ministry and do something for God because I simply just didn't have enough finances. And in South Africa, um, we don't always have a lot of finances available for ministry. And so when you sow into uh, my ministries, every time it's like, thank you, God, this was a miracle. Uh, I trusted you for finances and the Lord sowed into me. So um, I'm not yet at the place where there's overflow. But I'm at a place where the Lord, every time when there's a need, He just supernaturally supplied to me. And I, and I thank the Lord, and I thank each one of you, that you are obedient to the Lord to bless me also. I love and appreciate you. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember... You are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.